Hey Toby, have you seen my new trailer? It's amazing! It has the Electro, it has the Rhino, it even has the Green Goblin back. Isn't it awesome? Oh yeah? But does your new movie have a dance sequence? <sighs> this is why we needed a reboot. Is your spidey sense tingling? Then get your Hot Toys Amazing Spider-Man figure at SideshowCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Love you, kids. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the amazing Spider-Man Hot Toys Spider-Man Movie Masterpiece 1-6 scale collectible figure. I want to thank SideshowCollectibles.com for sending me out this to review for you guys. You can buy this right now at their website. Link is in the description. You can see in the packaging you have a nice picture of Spider-Man uh, web slinging through New York City. It has a cool little web design, as you can see from different parts of the light. Really cool. I uh, really like the picture right there. It says amazing Spider-Man uh, Hot Toys movie masterpiece. One side of the box has a picture of Spider-Man flipping at you and says Spider-Man 16 collectible figure MMS 16. The other side says Marvel.com Spider-Man. It has a little picture right there at the bottom MMS 179. Top and the bottom continue that same design. It says the amazing Spider-Man. Back of the box has a nice red and blue design like Spider-Man's costume. It has all the credits of all the people that designed the figure while having a picture of Spider-Man on the side as a warning label. Warning, you don't want to get web in your eye. And then when you open the box, you have an awesome picture of Spider-Man, uh, the figure right there flipping at you. You have a nice little bow of Spider-Man and talks about ever since Peter Parker's parents disappeared. He's struggling in the brink of Unlocked Mystery and Oscorp. Then when you take out this layer, you see the figure with all his accessories and his nice plastic clear tray window. Uh oh, my spider sense is tingling. It's time to do the Hot Toys has once again done an amazing job, pun intended, on the sculpting. I really love what they did with the head sculpt of the Spidey mask. They have the yellow uh, eyes. It has that kind of sunglass material you can see here. I love the sculpting on all the webbing and even the texture of it. You can see all the lines. Now what's cool about this, the head, even though it, it feels like it's sculpted plastic, it actually has like kind of that material so when you move it around it's like uh, the actual costume he's wearing and it's you can see all the patterns of how it moves. Uh, I'll get more into this in the articulation section but I do like that they actually did that even though it might seem a little weird at first but it actually is more accurate of how he would move in the costume. And speaking of the costume, I know at first I wasn't a big fan of this costume. I prefer what will now become the Amazing Spider-Man. But man, um, I really like uh, how this costume turned out in the movie. And yeah, the spider logo right there. And like I said, the texturing, all the lines right here. It just looks so cool. I love the Spidey uh, logo on the back here. It looks freaking cool. Even the lines go along here. It's just... Yeah, the webbing design. I'm, I'm actually become a big fan of the costume and the belt area right here, all those lines right here. Now what's cool, if you can see right here, one thing that Hot Toys did too, they have the web shooters. Or, uh, both sides has the web shooters. Oh, I love the, the gloves too, I like the pattern of the blue and red is really awesome. But yeah, you, you see it has the web shooters on both sides. Texturing on pants and the boots even has that cool kind of like Reebok Nike thing going on it says the Hot Toys logo right there but still no problem has that silver bit just overall of the they really nailed this costume I really love the colors and just everything about the outfit now for articulation Spider-Man has tons now on this head it can go up that much it can go down that much and it can move left right because of the way it's made it can't fully rotate but it can turn left or right pretty much like that it just kind of bunches up there it's trying to be more costume accurate so i can see why they did that but and you kind of have to work with it so it doesn't look too weird when you get in a stance but it, it's not that bad once you just kind of mess with it a bit now the arms there was some issues i heard with the shoulders with some people having them break overseas but i haven't had that issue whatsoever uh first off uh, he does have the armpit joints that go in and out and it goes in and out that way and you can you just have to kind of work with it a little bit you can move it like i said kind of bunches up uh, a little bit but you can move it up to do kind of a swinging pose i haven't 
had any issue with it, it just kind of bunches up. But you can't move it up, you just kind of have to work with it quite a bit. And you, have, you want to be very careful with this costume. He has tons of articulation, but the costume doesn't restrict it, but you don't want to break the costume. But this rotated at the bicep right here, bends at two points at the elbow. Uh, bunches up right there too a little bit but we were uh, uh, rotates at the wrist as well let's go in and out he does have not only an ab cr uh, crunch forward and back then also go side to side and rotate he has a waist joint that uh, rotates and goes forward and back so you can go quite a bit back and quite a bit forward like I said you just have to be careful with the costume when doing that now the legs do go up quite a bit um, you can almost do like full on kick. You just have to be careful. Like I said, really bunching up. You can go back, you can go in and out about almost doing the splits. It does stretch enough where you don't have to worry about tears. And it rotates the other part of the leg, bends at two points at the knee. And now the ankles, they don't fully rotate. They do pivot forward and back like 45 degrees. And they do have an ankle pivot. Just be very careful. Now Spidey comes with a few accessories. He comes with uh, instruction manual on how to change out his head. He comes with five pairs of hands. He has uh, hands for whip uh, swinging. As you can see here, he has whip crawling hands or like, oh, I'm going to get you hands. He has uh, fisted hands, all very nicely textured. And then his uh, one pair has just relaxed palm hands, the other has this rock on flip in hand. He also comes with a pair of wrist pegs in case you break it. But he also comes with two pairs of uh, webbing. Uh, one is meant for web swinging, like it's made of that clear uh, plastic, you know, it's, uh, that looks just like web. This is for the web swinging. And then he has uh, the pair that you meant to put into the wrist, like he's shooting out the web. You know, like an attack position. You would just take out the hand right here. You would put in the hand like this, and then you just put in the hand back in. See how it looks when uh, it's all attached. It kind of, it's cool because this kind of protrudes a little bit, like it's coming out of the whip shooter right here. But you kind of have to work with it to angle it so it looks just right. You also get an Andrew Garfield Peter Parker head, which is really nice. The only bad thing is it has some bow damage. I understand that. When we see him, he is pretty messed up when he's using a mask, but it's only that one piece. I wish it was either more bow damage or not bow damage at all. But besides that, the likeness is really, really good. I definitely see Andrew Garfield in here. I mean, it's not perfectly spot on, but it's really, really good. Like, you definitely see it in him, especially from certain angles, and the hair and paint apps are amazing. Now, what's cool about it, it, it exchanges in different ways. Like, the way the neck piece is, you would take out the head right here, you just pull it out right here, and it's made kind of like with this different kind of tab. The way that well, you can put it in here, and the neck has that spidey costume neck part in there, but you can still rotate the head and everything. But I think what's cool is that you can still take out the head from the neck piece, and if you want to make your own custom Peter Parker, he'll just have some blood on his face. Last but not least, you get the standard Hot Toy Stand. It says Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man on the front with an adjustable cradle. I got you, you itsy bitsy spider. Oh no, you found my one weakness. Small knives. This big enough for ya. Oh crap, this is what I use to cut up my Pineapple Express. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Amazing Spider-Man is in great scope with other Hot Toys figures. He is smaller than say the Mark 7 Iron Man and he's also small, uh, smaller than the Spider-Man 3 Black Costume Spider-Man. Also his body is a little bit thinner which I actually do like. Now, if you're a huge Spidey fan you will love this figure but that will also determine if you like the Amazing Spider-Man and you like this Spider-Man costume. But I do really love the detail and articulation of this figure. You do have to be careful about the costume but just like if you had the original um, Spider-Man 3 Spider-Man in the regular costume or black costume, you know what I'm talking about and being careful. Um, but I do love that you come with the extra Peter Parker, Andrew Garfield head and the webbing and all the extra hands. And it definitely, like for the price you're getting, which this retails for about $204.99, you are, uh, and with the uh, prices of Hot Toys nowadays, that's still a good deal, like with the extra head and all the extra hands and, and, and everything. Because, like I said, if you're a huge Spidey fan, you're, you're getting a really fun, articulated uh, Spidey figure. Like I said, only bad thing is if you got to be careful of the costume. And if you don't like this costume, you might probably will wait for the inevitable Amazing Spider-Man 2 Hot Toys figure that will be coming out. But like I said, if you missed out on the Spider-Man 3 figures that came out or wanted a uh, red and blue Spidey, this is a great figure to have, especially with the new Spider-Man movies they're making. This is definitely a great way to get you started on your Spidey Hot Toys collection. 
It's really fun and definitely I highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, more, go to uh, hugenerd.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Subway Trium in a big way. Check out bkbn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> you did an amazing job in those last three movies, even though <coughs> Spider-Man 3 sucked, but I promise you I won't let you down. No, I still want to be Spider-Man. People like me and I could dance. Dude, you hardly made any wisecracks and you cried like you were in a Twilight movie. Why don't you stick with what you're good at, which is riding horses and partying with Leonardo DiCaprio. Uncle Ben is dead. With great power comes great responsibility to not let a dance sequence ruin the Spider-Man franchise. Did someone say dance? No!